And the story I want to tell is about a patient who came to me because of a problem getting pregnant. She had had a, uh, an MRI and a hysterosalpingogram, an x-ray of her uterus that they thought showed that she had a bicornuate uterus, which can be a problem that needs surgery uh, in order to help with conception and maintaining pregnancy. Uh, we scanned her and we did a 3D ultrasound. It was very quick, very simple. With a 3D ultrasound, we were able to show very clearly that all she had was a little bit of an arc at the top of her uterus. There was no abnormality of the outside of the uterus, no abnormality of the uterine shape, really minimal defect in the uh, endometrial cavity itself. And so we were able to tell her and her infertility specialist that uh, she really didn't have anything going on that might require surgery. We were able to save her a hysteroscopy and a laparoscopy. We were able to save her potentially major abdominal surgery if they had tried to do anything to fix this uterus. And we could have saved her a lot of money if she had had the ultrasound first before she had all the other testing. I think the reason people don't go to ultrasound first is really uh, habits and comfort. They've been doing certain uh, patterns of testing for many years. They're used to doing those tests and they aren't thinking about some of the new things we have in, a, in ultrasound now, such as the use of 3D ultrasound to define the shape of the uterus. It, it just doesn't enter their consciousness yet as something that they ought to, ought to get as a, a, the first step in a workup.